There's really one thing missing in our mobile multiplayer game and this is the actual multiplayer. So I did a separate video about how to choose the right engine or the right framework for all this um, multiplayer stuff. And today I will choose PUN. PUN is a framework by Photon and recently announced a version 2. And I will show you in this episode how to connect to the server and join a room. And then we will continue uh, with the synchronization of simple data. To get started, you have to get PUN2 free. It's in the asset store. You just download it and import it in your project. In the asset store itself, you will find some other options like real time PUN, Bold, Quantum. Here is a rough overview. So, real time is the base foundation of all these other stuff. Just go to the asset store, click on import. Import everything and here you already see that Photon Realtime is um, packaged with Photon Unity Networking. So you will get both. While you import all the package you can also go to photonengine.com, create an account and then this is your dashboard. You should create a new app for every new game. And uh, here you can choose your Photon type. I choose PUN, this is PUN and PUN2. It doesn't really matter what you choose, your application name, uh, GTA tutorial, a description, completely optional, and then you go to create. After that you find your app here and this is the app ID and just copy it. As soon as you import all the packages a pop-up will appear, it says app ID or email, just paste your app ID here and say set up project and it says done. Uh, all connection settings can be edited in Photon server settings now. Um, Photon server settings are in Photon, Unity Networking and Resources and here you see the server settings. Um, it's possible to change the app ID here or if you just click skip to enter it here a little bit later. Let's have a look at our scene setup. I created a scene called Network uh, which is pretty lightweight because it has no asset from the city, it's just a player and for test purposes. And I have created a menu. So the menu has the main camera and directional light as default. I created a canvas with two buttons. One button says connect to master and the other one says join random room. One thing we should do up front is to use namespaces for all of our current classes because the class name player is also used by the photon engine and this causes some trouble. Um, you will see some errors after you import it and as soon as you add the namespace here everything should be fine again. Okay let's create an empty object and we create a new script called network connection manager. The first thing we do is we add the namespace and just change the mono behavior with the mono behavior pun callbacks and then we have to add the using photon pun and this allows us to um, Override some methods that are based on the pun framework, for example, on connected, on created room, and so on. But we will come to this later. First up, some variables. Uh, these two buttons, these are um, specific to my UI and to Boolean, try to, twice to connect to master and twice to connect to room. Uh, this will help us to identify in which state we are. On start, we set both to false. On update we set the game objects to active. So the button connect to master is active when we are not connected. So here we are using the photo network class. This class uh, provides all the methods and uh, properties we need. If it's not connected and we do not try to connect to master, we, we make the button active so that the user can click and then um, the program tries to connect to the master. And the same with connect to room. If we are connected and we do not try to connect to the master and we do not try to connect to the room, then this button is active so that the user can connect to the room. Next method we implement is on click connect to master. You can name it whatever you want. We will use this on the button script to just call it as soon as the user clicks on it. So we choose on click connected to master. And let's go to through the script. So the offline mode is false. Uh, these are some settings we do up front. Uh, if the offline mode is true, uh, the photo network framework would uh, fake all the networking methods. For example, you would see that you're in the room, that you're the only one, you're the master, 
and everything you send out you will receive right back so it seems like you are in an empty room with only yourself but um in general you are offline and we want to play online so i set the offline mode to false just that you know that this is there so the nickname i hard coded the nickname to player name uh, you can have some input fields for it next up automatically sync scenes as soon as you enable this one you can call photo network load level and what happens is if there are players in the room all the players will then load a scene with the scene manager the game option is another optional setting you just say okay this is my first version and this means only um, i can only connect to other players with the same game version so if you make a completely different game on version 2 for example then players from version 1 can't connect to players from version 2 and vice versa okay this is completely optional you you can just delete it if you want to simplify it uh, the next one is our local variable twice to connect to master we set it to true and then we just say connect using connection settings or using settings and this will automatically look up the file under resources, the photon server settings, and we'll just apply all these settings, for example, uh, server, port, region, and so on. There are two things that can, that can happen now. The first one is on disconnect, if something went wrong, and the other one is on connected to master, if we actually can connect to master. So the on disconnect needs the photon real time. So on disconnect is called very often, for example, if you kicked out of a game, kicked out from the master server or kicked out of the internet. So the course will tell you what's wrong. As soon as we disconnect it, we reset just our flags and um, lock the course. Normally you should tell the user what's wrong or uh, the course, but for us, this is enough. So in case of success, on connected to master is called. And we will also call the base class again and say, okay, it tries to connect to master false because we are connected to the master and we do not try to connect to the master anymore. And then we say, okay, we are connected to the master. And this should work already to just connect to the photo network. Let's try it out. I drag and drop these two buttons here. Let's click it. You see here the Boolean flag is checked and it's not checked anymore. And let's have a look at the console. It says connected to master, which is good. We can connect to our server. Technically, we are now in the Photon Engine server farm, but we're not in a room yet. We are in a lobby, but not quite in a lobby. We could join a lobby now and search for games, but I will keep it simple. I explain everything to you, but I will only implement join a random room. We will again implement a method called on click connect to room. And this is a method that should be called when the button is pressed. So I go back in the editor, grab my connection manager, put it in the on click and then say, okay, click connect to room. Here is a check. If the photo network, network is not connected, we should return. Normally this shouldn't happen, right? So you, we could get rid of it, but I will keep it here for safety reasons. So then we say twice to connect to room, our other flag. We set it to true. And now we have three options. We can create a room with a room name. We can join a room with a specific room name. And um, Unity or, or Photon really matches two rooms by its names. So if you are planning to have some rooms for users, uh, make sure that the names are unique. So, but we just want to have a random matchmaking room. And therefore we just call join random room. And now Photon tries to find a room that is open and has some uh, empty slots and that we can connect to. If this is possible, um, we will see the on joint room is called. We will overwrite this method as well. Call the base class, set twice to connect to room false and just lock some things. For example, we have a flag is master client. So this means one client is always the master. The master should restart a round or have some kind of admin rights in your room and in your game. So if there's a decision to make, the master is always the one to ask. 
After I join the room, I will load the scene network. If there's a positive case, there's always a negative case. So on join random room failed. So be sure to add this join random failed because there's also a method called join failed and this will be called uh, if you first up called join room. So make sure to have the spelling right and you get a return code and a message. So in your first try to join a random room, this will be called, I will guess, because there is no open room and no free slots. So you're just joining a random room and the engine tells you that you can't join a random room because there's no room open. So if no room is available, we will create a room. So these arguments are, the first one is a name. I could give the room a name or if I have some kind of a random matchmaking like I want to have, I can just uh, enter a null string here. Then the room will receive a randomly generated um, ID and it doesn't really say something about the game, but it's okay for me because I will never display it to the user. Then you can pass some room options. So I will say max players 20. So 20 is really a number uh, that is the highest number Photon is supporting right now. You can't have more than 20 players in one room. There are plenty of other room options. For example, you can set this to visible and invisible. There is a very detailed description for all of these parameters. Okay, we now know this will be the default case for the first player and he will create a room. And then there's always uh, on create room failed and on room created. So if this is the case, we have really a problem. I will just debug log this message and set twice to connect to room false. I don't know why it should fail, but I think uh, if you have a plan of 20 concurrent users and they are already playing and one player is trying to create a room, Photon says, okay, the creator of the game only has, has a free plan for 20 players and you are the 20 ones, so you can't create a room or something like that. So there's on room, on created room, if we successfully created the room, but we really don't need that because after you created a room, on joint room is always called. So you're like creating a room and the next step is you're joining immediately if you're the master or the creator of the room. So this should work fine and we should be able to enter a room and enter the master server. To make it all work, have a look at your scenes in the builds that you have the menu and the network in your build. Okay, now we can launch our game, click on connect to master, wait for the master to connect, then join random room. And we see we are the master here. There's one player in the room and the room name is just a cryptic number. That's it for this part. Next time we will syncing our characters with other instances. So stay tuned and subscribe.